Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Monday, November 7th, 2022, the beginning of the new trading week. So let's take a look. What do we have in the Forex calendar today? The first thing that would like, I would like to point out is that to, uh, during all day we got the Eurogroup meetings in the Eurozone. And so we have a uh, plenty of speeches from the um, ECB President uh, Lagarde, uh, ECB Panetta uh, and uh, plenty of other people who will give us uh, speeches uh, throughout the day. And uh, we have some um, data published already from my major European economies. Uh, Switzerland unemployment rate is now 1.9%, which is uh, exactly at the uh, at the last reading, and the forecast was 2%, so slightly better than um, than the uh, expectation. The Halifax uh, house price index from the United Kingdom is minus. 0.4 so still uh, the prices uh, of the houses in the UK are not going uh, down drastically. Um, German industrial production 0.6% way better than expectations of 0.2% and better than the previous reading of minus 1.2 and uh, IHS market construction uh, PMI data from the Germany is expected to um, be uh, uh, published at 10.30, so it looks like uh, the number of the 41.8 points might be uh, might be a slightly a bit uh, for the month of, for the previous month of the um, September. So. Uh, sorry, October, of course. Uh, so this is basically it. This is basically the um, today's day, uh, slowly Monday. However, please uh, be very, very. Uh, Vigilant, uh, please stay vigilant and focus because of the um, remarks and comments regarding various uh, situations uh, on the uh, European economy uh, might be something that will trigger the market movements um, uh, during the European and New York session. Um, let's start with the technical review and let's take a look at the majors first. For our chart of the euro dollar looks very promising for boost. The ABC uh, technical uh, correction, the corrective cycle had been completed already at 1.094. Then we have a free wave decline towards the level of uh, 0. Uh, basically 9,737 pips with the low slightly below 9,731 pips. I have marked this as the uh, low for the wave X because it was um, uh, on the um, you know extremely oversold conditions as well on the four hour chart uh, since then we have a very nice v-shape reversal from the lower channel line technical supports and um, the oversold market conditions right now we are approaching the uh, ecb interest rate decision um, uh, levels around the highs of 9,976. Of course, the target is the parity, and then higher we go because this is the ABC correction. So let me just remind you that this ABC correction might evolve, might evolve into more complex and time-consuming correction in the form of the ABC X as a connector ABC to the upside. It might still stay inside this channel. Right, because it looks like the market is highly technical and follows the channel. So uh, it might stay inside the channel uh, for the ABC correction to the upside. So basically, let me just copy this, apparently. Uh, let me clone it even. And uh, what I'm expecting right now is A and B and C to the upside for the continuation of the current market progression. Of course, we start from here. Uh, from the scratch and this is what we should see in the nearest future. Of course, um, the uh, projections uh, of the target levels uh, will be made after the new local high uh, is done. However, this is how it looks like ABC, X, ABC. So we have a W, X, Y complex correction. And uh, then of course the market will be ready to continue the downtrend. This doesn't look like an impulsive trend to the upside, doesn't look like beginning of the new trend, still looks very corrective. So that's the euro dollar. Let's find out what is going on on the pound. 
four hour chart of the British pound looks quite um, similar uh, that the euro dollar. However, the corrective cycle is quite different than the one on the euro dollar. The first thing is that um, we've been trading inside of this uh, channel. We broke below, made a local low at 1.1149 dynamic rebound looks like a v-shape rebound however we are still testing the lower channel line and the the, the bulls can't break back above 1.1410 which is very important long term and short term and mid term technical uh, resistance sometimes technical support basically the the market spends a lot of time around this level of course if we get um let's say denied um, uh, from the uh, higher level here uh, higher prices here then we, we will reverse and best will have a control over the market because we are still on the momentum side on the neutral momentum side so we are hovering around this level of 50 on the um, rsi on the four hour chart if we reverse we can test 1.1149 and even go lower 1.1062 1.1023 1 However, any breakout would be welcome. And then, of course, this target, uh, this, sorry, this cycle ABC will have a new target because this uh, correction uh, will evolve into more complex one, just as on the euro uh, dollar. However, please stay focused, please stay vigilant and see how the market would respond on the lower time frame, uh, lower channel line, um, this uh, technical resistance 1.1410 and of course the levels inside of the channel like 1.1496, one high of the ECB interest rate decision and Bank of England interest rate decision 1.1563 and the levels of the uh, where, where the high of the wave C is at 1.1646. So very interesting uh, things here. Let's stay focused. US dollar to the Japanese yen. What we are having here is a classical ABC to the downside pattern in progress. As you can see, we have the wave B completed and now uh, around the 50 level of the Fibonacci um, retracement. And now we're starting to uh, move uh, lower. This might be very interesting. Let's say the wave B has been completed here. This starting to look very, very interesting. This is for our chart. Let's switch to the daily. And this is the daily time frame chart. As, as you can see, technical support is 145.91, 150, 145.00. And then if we break below, we got another targets at 1.4035. So that's almost 500 pips is to be made here because there is no technical support between these two levels, no strong technical support between these two levels. Of course, we have been bouncing from the level of 50 on the RSI here and here. Any breakout below this level will extend the drop and will extend the correction just as uh, anticipated, missing the wave C to the downside. So we are waiting for the wave C to be done on the US dollar to Japanese yen. US dollar to the Swiss franc. Another major with a very interesting, very interesting daily uh, time frame um, uh, candlestick pattern. As you can see, 1.0148 has been a, a problem for, for uh, bulls. As you can see, the first time we made it straight on big pin bar. We went down, bounced to the same river, uh, level, very nice up bar, bearish engulfing pattern, strong bearish engulfing pattern on a daily time frame um, chart means that we will likely visit the level of, let me adjust my levels, this is the low, the level of um, 9840, 9858, this is the technical uh, support, so let's just put the green color on my screen there you go this is the technical support this is the next target and technical support bearish engulfing pin bar evidently they are having problems with 1.0148 so now the market is under the bearish pressure we might be testing this technical support or even test the lower uh, channel level around the uh, 9700 uh, basically so for this um, for this week, the outlook for the US dollar to uh, Swiss franc is bearish. And last but not least, US dollar to the Canadian dollar. What is going on here? 
very big sell-off after the 61% of the Fibonacci retracement has been hit, 1.3790 local high, 1.3807, uh, so 17 pips overthrow, pin bar confirmation, strong confirmation erasing all of the weekly gains and now we are looking for a test of the level of 1.3392. 1.3421 so this is the next target for the uh, for the best it looks like uh, we are having of course the pin bar here uh, we are having the pin bar here that's that's obvious like this is our other uh, other pin bar so right now this is the uh, the point of the uh, the end of the last swing high um, we don't need this this one anymore uh, we want the there you go red red line here so what we have here is um is another swing high and this swing high is 1.3976 so basically 1.4 since then corrective decline this looks corrective so that's that's not a beginning of the new downtrend it doesn't look like the beginning of the new downtrend however some sort of the distribution pattern might be fine here uh, we got the uh, left right head and shoulders pattern yeah shoulder uh head shoulder maybe if we break uh, for sure be below 1.3494 then of course this pattern will be will be confirmed and even uh, the level of 1.3221 might be hit okay so this is our target now might be hit during this down move uh, on the daily time frame chart of the us dollar to the canadian dollar that's everything for me for today. Thank you very much for watching this analysis and I hope I see you guys next time. So take care and bye bye.